Hello and welcome to this first lecture of VLSI technology. You can see from here that you will be studying four uh, compulsory subjects and one optional subject. And uh, VLSI technology is listed over here as a first subject. Then the VLSI system design, MOS circuit design, modeling with SDLs and digital image processing as an elective one. Now, uh, if you talk about the uh, individual subjects, in VLSI technology, we, you will be studying about the manufacturing process of IC. How IC is actually manufactured, what are the processes involved, how from a simple silicon wafer we will be producing a complete IC. So all those things will be covered in, under the VLSI technology. Whereas the other subjects like VLSI system design and MOS circuit design uh, defines about the physics involved behind the process of VLSI systems okay and the modeling of VSDL is nothing but the outer part of the uh, VLSI design means you can say that VLSI is divided into two uh, different uh, categories one is the front end and second is the back end in front end design we work on the programming part we work on the outer designing of the system and when we say back end designing we actually work in the inner part of the IC that how transistor level modeling is done, how transistor level design is implemented and how that particular IC is going to be manufactured actually. So these are two different things. So you will be studying uh, both the combinations back end as well as the front end. Okay, so let me uh, just uh, brief you about the syllabus of VLSI technology. Here you can see that first unit is about the crystal growth and wafer preparation how crystal is uh, going to be you know implemented how wafer is formed how wafer is prepared what are the processing considerations what, what is chemical cleaning uh, getting the thermal stress factors etc et when you are actually preparing the ic you need to have uh, the list of uh, uh, problems or the list of uh, requirements uh, in your hand that these are the uh, features that I need to be you know very sure about my IC so pro, uh, power then the area then the you know uh, temperature various factors are there vapor uh, vapors face epitaxy basic transport process and the uh, reaction kinetics doping auto doping equipments safety considerations then the what is buried layer what is uh, epitaxial defects, what is a mole a molecular uh, beam epitaxy equipment used, film characteristics and SOI structure. So all these things we are uh, going to discuss in unit number one. And in unit number two, the growth mechanism and kinetics about the silicon oxidation model, interface considerations, orientation dependence of oxidation rates, thin oxides, oxides oxidation techniques and system dry and weight oxidation masking properties of siu2 so all about the silicon dioxide layer all about the silicon dioxide layer so if you uh, remember about the mos design then you remember that there is uh, siu2 layer over the mos so how that layer is formed this is all about uh, unit 2 Okay, then third is the diffusion from a chemical source in a vapor from high temperature, diffusion from doped oxide source, diffusion from an ion implemented layer. So actually, uh, either you uh, take the uh, N type of material or you will be taking the P type of material. And then you will be forming the diffusion uh, pins over the SiO2 layer. And those diffusion pins are nothing but the source gradient gate. So how the diffusion process is going to happen, unit 3 will discuss about those things. Then the lithography, optical lithography, optical resist, contact and proximity printing, projection printing, electron lithography, resist, mask generation, electron optics, 
roster scans, vector scans, variable beam shape, x-ray, x-ray lithography, resist sand printing, x-ray sources and mask and ion lithography. So this is this this unit is totally dedicated for lithography. Lithography is a process where we actually you know finalize our IC in terms of the uh, you know embedding the pins outer pins so that our IC is going to be connected with the outer periphery or the electrical circuit actually. Then fifth one is the uh, reactive plasma etching. Okay, AC and DC plasma excitation, uh, plasma properties, chemistry and surface interactions, feature size control and apostrophic etching, ion enhanced and induced etching, properties of each processing, reactive ion beam etching, specific etches process, poly or polycide and trench etching. So it is all about the etching process. So, so when you come from unit number one to unit number five, you will be actually studying about how the IC is going to be manufactured from zero to, you know, final stage. Okay, so this this unit is designed. Uh, units are designed in that manner only. Okay, so if I uh, generally discuss about the process of steps in IC fabrication, the first process is the process of IC fabrication involves uh, several process. First process is silicon wafer preparation. The first process is silicon wafer preparation and then you will be diffusing the impurities then the ion implementation then the annealing process then the oxidation process then the lithography then the chemical vapor deposition then the epitaxial growth then the reactors then the metallization then the patterning and then the wire bonding and then the packaging this is the general flow of ic design Okay, so we will be studying uh, right from the silicon wafer preparation till the packaging. Okay, I, 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 I do not think that packaging is part of the uh, your syllabus, but then also since you are studying the uh, VLSI uh, fabrication or VLSI manufacturing process, you should be you know, aware about what is packaging. So packaging is nothing but the uh, complete uh, IC. When we go to the shop and ask about the microprocessor or microcontroller IC, they will uh, give us the complete package of IC. Okay, so uh, th that IC also starts from the silicon wafer preparation and goes for the packaging at the last at the end. So these are the steps which which involved in basic uh, uh, IC fabrication uh, technique or basic IC fabrication flow. Okay. Uh, let me discuss about the books that you will be, you know, taking care of. SM says VLSI technology. This is going to be our uh, textbook. I'll be dealing all the units uh, related with your uh, uh, this particular syllabus uh, with this book only. And if anything is left, uh, we'll be moving to SK Gandhi VLSI fabrication principles. You can also take the uh, you know reference book as a chain of VLSI technology and uh, principles of uh, microelectronics technology. But uh, SM says is going to be our textbook. Whatever uh, you know, question or uh, uh, basic fundamentals or theory that will be based on this this book only. We will be discussing about uh, all the uh, syllabus related things from this book only. Okay. So this is uh, all about the introductory uh, class, and uh, from next class we will be starting our first unit, and that is the crystal growth and wafer. Thank you for listening and watching this lecture.